M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to use the Kenwood D75 in Bluetooth mode with APRS Droid that you can just see running on my Galaxy 23. So let's set up the handheld first. So go to your Bluetooth settings by going menu. Go to the cog there. Select go to Bluetooth and then push it and turn it on. Once you've done that, go down to pairing mode and press enter and let it search. And whilst it's searching, it's counting down, swipe down on your Android device, hold your finger on Bluetooth, hold it like so, and it will scan and find the 75, select the 75. Once it's done that, I've already done it, I'll click done, and it will say pairing and just press OK on both devices, OK? When you're paired, it will say here, it will go blue. If it doesn't go blue, you haven't paired, OK? Now, I have found if I turn off the GPS, it tends to pair a bit quicker. I don't really know why, but the quick way of turning off the GPS is just to push the hash, OK? Push the hash, and it just pairs quicker. OK, you can see that I've got GPS there. Next thing you want to do is go menu. Back to the settings cog, enter until you and go down to interface. Enter, then go down to the one I would do APRS and kiss. So turn them to Bluetooth. So you select and then you t turn USB or Bluetooth. Go up to the, do them all if you're worried. DV gate, I've done them all, look. APRS, GPS, they're all there on Bluetooth. Then hit menu to come out. And then to get to kiss on screen, I've gone to the B band. And if you go to menu, APRS, enter. Then go to basic settings. Go down to a there's one there that says, look, data band, and I've put B band. Enter, look, B band. If you go up one, look, you've got the 1200. That's what the 12 stands for. Hit menu to go back. So 144800, how do you type that? Go enter 144800. That's UK, of course. That's me just faffing. And then once you're there, make sure you're on FM. So mode. FM. OK, so pretty much set up there. Now, with the APRS droid, it's not free. Unfortunately, you do have to pay. Just download that from the Play Store. Just put in APRS droid. And it will ask you for this. And then once you've got it, that's APRS droid there. Look, got some nice images there. Definitely worth having. But once you've got it, open it up. And you've got setting that I am actually connected at the moment. I can send my position and do that again. And you'll see me, you'll see it transmit. Watch this, send position and it goes into TX. Look, it's got an external antenna, but it's also going to receive anything that's coming in via RF is going to be received. It's all going to show up in this, this stream. See the way it says Bluetooth. Okay. So let me just show you my settings. We go at the top here. Now there is a map there if you want it, by the way. Go to a map and then you can try and zoom in to where I am. Or you can do a search. M0 FXB there. Go back, three dots. I'm gonna to go to preferences. Okay, and start at the top. So at the top here, we go to call sign. M0 FXB, SSID, I just chose number five. Next one down, Digipath, I didn't change that. I think you could change that, but I haven't changed that at the moment. Uh, connection preferences, you choose tick connection log. Client mode was already ticked. And then we're gonna go, look, KISS, TNC KISS, but you can see how you've got other options there, okay? 
that's the one we've chose keep going down connection type bluetooth spp but you can see you can use internet you know tcp or usb serial basically a usb cable usb c cable tnc bluetooth device you definitely want it to say the device you're connected to it says here d75 and then the channel i didn't put anything there actually so leave that blank bluetooth settings and there it is there so that's it really once you get to this point then it's just a matter of just enjoying it you go back with the little back arrow at the bottom i'm using little back and you just start sending and receiving packets so you just sent the position again there i'm not really receiving much here today and um you got so you got a log there look The main thing is just an experiment, isn't it? Do it, and like I said, we've got the map. What's that one there? So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I mean, it's the same process for for the D75 and the D74. So I'll probably just do another video with the D74 because they're both a couple of my favorite radios. Bye for now, all the best.